we lost this gatekeeping capability in the ML field. And now if you're a software engineer or a web dev, you have a fairly good chance of competing with somebody who is like very proficient in machine learning, in my opinion, if you're trying to build a product. That's empowering and annoying at the same time. You have people like Pietro Levels. I might be mispronouncing his name, but he's a very famous entrepreneur who's built multiple companies on his own, literally like a solopreneur guy. He just built these two companies called Avatar AI and then the second one, Eteur AI. This became so easy that somebody like him, who has like, I, I would bet like almost zero, if not zero machine learning knowledge or expertise, was able to fine tune stable diffusion and get like the pictures in front of people inside of a web app. And his current revenues are like 100,000 every month. So that's terrifying for those who are incumbents in the space and who thought that ML is their like defensible position. But it's also very empowering because that means anybody can build cool stuff now.